Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is 6th class on set theory. In first 5 classes, we learn about synopsis of set theory in detail. In case if you not watch all those 5 videos, I strongly recommend please go through all the synopsis first. Then only you start objective questions. Okay, let's see the first question. Which of the following is not a well-defined collection of objects? You try to understand what they are saying. Not well-defined collection. You observe here this first option. What they given? Set of natural numbers. Natural numbers are well-defined or not? Yes, natural numbers are well-defined. What are natural numbers? Everybody will say natural numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only. No one will say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. We know that what are natural numbers. So natural numbers are well defined, but what they are asking, which of the following is not a well defined. You see ovals in English alphabet, ovals in English alphabet well defined or not. What are ovals in English alphabet? Everybody knows ovals in English alphabet or not? A, E, I, O, U. So ovals in English alphabet are also well defined, but what they are asking, not a well defined collection of objects. Good max teacher, collection of good max teachers, a particular student is can say that a max teacher is good the same teacher may not be good to your friend so good max teacher is not well defined good teacher is not well defined why good teacher is not well defined from person to person the opinion may change a particular person may feel that a teacher is good the other person may not feel that same teacher is good so good teacher is not well defined. So which of the following is not well defined collection of objects? Collection of good max teachers is not a well defined collection. See the second one, collection of beautiful girls is a null set, finite set, infinite set, not a set. These are the options given. Beautiful girl. First thing, beautiful girl is well defined or not? You take a girl, a particular girl may be beautiful to you. The same girl may not be beautiful to your friend. It is not a set. Why it is not a set? Because, because beautiful girl is not well defined. See this uh, third question. Collection of intelligent students in a class. Intelligent student. In what way you decide a student is intelligent student? A student who scores well, that student is intelligent, intelligent student. A student who, who won't get good marks but he answers very quickly in class. That person is intelligent. Intelligent student is well defined or not well defined. Collection of intelligent students in a class. Intelligent student. In what sense you will decide a student is intelligent. A particular student may be good in max subject. The same student may not be good in other subject. So intelligent student varies from teacher to teacher. Person to person. So here what I am trying to say. Collection of intelligent students is not a well-defined collection. Fourth question. Which of the following is empty set? You observe this first set. This is empty set. Actually, we know that empty set is denoted by phi and it will be like this. There is no element in between the brackets. But here one element is present. Is it is a empty set? No, it is not a empty set. You observe this one. This is the empty set. Empty set means there is no element in between the brackets. But here one element is present. Now you see this third option. X says that X is a natural number and less than 1. You please tell a natural number which is less than 1. We know that natural number means natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Okay. You see what are the there is no natural number less than 1. So if you observe this third set. What is the third set? There is no natural number less than 1. That means if we write the roster form of this set, this is in set builder form. If I write the roster form of this set, we won't get any element in this set. It tells that this is the empty set. You observe the fourth option, set of all even prime numbers. Even prime numbers, what are even prime numbers? 2 is the only even prime number. So here the fourth option it is a singleton set but what they are asking which of the following is empty set so what is the right option third option you see the fifth question which of the following is empty set you observe the first set it contains x as that x is a real number and x square minus 1 equal to 0 if i solve this first option x square minus 1 equal to 0 
then x square equal to 1. If x square equal to 1, there is a chance that x is either plus 1 or minus 1. If I take x is plus 1, x square is 1 only. If I take x is minus 1, x square is 1 only. What about the first option? First option, you will get like this, minus 1, plus 1. But what the question, which of the following is empty set? See, you, as per the first option, first option contains two elements. This is not an empty set, it contains two elements. You take the second option. What is the second option? x is a real number and x square plus 1 equal to 0. So I will solve this equation x square plus 1 equal to 0. What is x square? x square is minus 1. What is x? x is plus or minus root over minus 1. We know that x is plus or minus root over minus 1 is nothing but i. So you got two values for this set. One is a minus i, another one is plus i. But the point is these two are complex number. In the second option they are saying that x is a real number x is a real number and x square plus 1 equal to 0. But here we got x as a complex number. There is no real number here. Please try to understand. So as x is a real number and x square plus 1 equal 0. In case if they are not specified x is a real number then we will write this. This is not an empty set. As they are specifying that x is a real number and it is satisfying this equation. There is no real number satisfying this equation. That means is as per the second option as the specified clearly x is a real number there is no real number satisfying this equation so second set is the empty set so which option is the right option second option is the right option you see this third one third option we will check that also x square minus 9 equal to 0 they given and x is equal to what x equal to plus or minus 3 so 3 is a real number minus 3 is a real number so this set is not empty set it contains two elements okay so now sixth question which of the following is not empty try to understand here they are specifying which of the following is not empty we need to identify which one is not empty come to the first option x is a natural number and x lies in between 1 and 2 what are the natural numbers in between 1 and 2 we know that natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 like that what, num what natural numbers are there in between 1 and 2? There is no natural number in between 1 and 2. As per the first option, set A is empty set. But what they are asking, which of the following is not empty set? Okay, go to the second option. See here what they are saying, x square minus 2 equal to 0 and x is rational. x is rational. Rational number means you know the numbers in the form of p by q. Okay, what are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers means root 2 root 3, 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3, minus root 3, such type of things are irrational numbers. Okay, here the equation is x square minus 2 equal to 0. From this, what is x square? x square is 2. What is x from this? x can be taken as plus or minus root 2. When we square this, we will get 2 only. So here, the point is x is root 2. X, root 2 is rational or irrational? Root 2 is irrational number minus root 2 minus root 2 is also irrational number what they are specifying in this option they are saying that x is rational and it is satisfying this condition x square minus 2 equal to 0 so what you will say about set b it is having solution but that solution is not rational that solution is irrational you observe here so what is set b set b is an empty set now you observe the third option x such that x is even prime number greater than what are the prime numbers greater than 2 there is no even prime number which is greater than 2 2 is the only even prime number right so what you will say about set c set c is empty set what about fourth option fourth option they are saying none of the above is not an empty set yes first one is empty set second one is empty set third one is also empty set so obviously we will choose the option none of the above write the solution set of the equation in roster form roster form what is roster form all the elements are listed and separated by commas within brackets you observe these four options all the options are in roster form only so first what i'll do i'll solve the given equation what is the given equation x square minus x sorry x square plus x minus x equal to zero you just split the middle term x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 equal to 0. 
in first two terms you take x common what you will get x plus 3 here in next two terms you take 2 common what you will get x plus 3 equal to 0 so what it can be written as x plus 3 into x minus 2 equal to 0 so this is nothing but x equal to minus 3 x equal to 2 so what is the set you got here if you write in roster form roster form means all the elements are listed and separated by commas within the brackets one value is 2 another value is minus 3 I, I listed all the elements separated by commas within the brackets so this is the right option where is that option see first option 2 comma minus 3 I written solution set of this equation in roster form now you see question number 8 you observe this is the set A this set is uh, in a roster form all the elements are listed and separated by commas within the brackets this is an infinite set please try to understand okay now we need to write this set A in set builder form you observe this first option as per the first option what you will get as a set first option x is a natural number natural number starts from 1 2 3 4 like that okay now x is n square you take 1 1 square is 1 next x is 2 square next x is 3 square next 4 square next 5 square like that we will get so what is this this is nothing but 1 comma 4 comma 9 comma 16 comma 25 and so on you can observe that this first set first option you observe i written this in roster form then i am getting set a only you observe the second option i'll just uh, explain but actually we came to know that first option is correct uh, second option you see uh, what they are saying n is a whole number what are whole numbers whole numbers we know 0 1 2 3 4 and so on when we write this in a uh, roster form 0 square 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square like that you will get you can observe this is not set a so second option is wrong option similarly third option also you will get the same thing integers integers means 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 you will get second option what answer you got for third option if you write the set builder form you will get the same answer however we easily identified that first option is the right option. please see question number 9 which of the following is correct they are asking which of the following is correct you observe a union b we learn this in synopsis a union b is uh, nothing but x belongs to a or x belongs to b this is correct or not yes first option is correct what about second option a, a intersection b we know that a intersection b contains all the elements which present in both a and b you observe here and is given okay second option is also correct or not yes third option a minus b a minus b means what a minus b means all the elements present in a but not in b you observe here x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b given so this third option is correct or not yes correct so you observe the fourth option what they given all of the above they are asking which of the following is correct and whatever they given first three options they are all correct so which option we will choose all of the above are correct okay now you see this tenth question set a is given set b is given they are asking to find a minus b you observe here uh, first you identify the elements which are common in both here 2 is there and here also 2 is present and in this set 4 is there and here also 4 is there in this set 6 is there in this set also 6 is there so a minus b means what you know all the elements present in a but not in b whatever the elements i strike off they are present in a they are present in b also so what elements you should write all the elements present in a but not in b so what elements remaining here one is present in a but one is not in b three is present in a but three is not in b five is present in a but five is not in b so what is the correct option set one three five i hope you understand this class